the number of encounters at the southern border uh, is very high. But it's very, very important, um, number one, to contextualize it, and number two, to explain it. From a context perspective, the world is seeing the greatest level of displacement since at least World War II. I think there, the recent report was that there are 73 million uh, displaced people in the United States. And so the, the challenge of migration is not exclusive to the southern border nor to the western hemisphere. It is global. And when I speak to partners across the Atlantic, it's the first issue that they raise, the first challenge that well, they What discuss. is the reason for that? So, well, one has um, the customary reasons of displacement, violence, um, insecurity, poverty, um, corruption, authoritarian regimes, now increasingly extreme weather events that propel people to leave. Why are we experiencing what we are? It is for those very reasons why people leave their countries of origin. We also remember in our hemisphere, uh, we overcame COVID more rapidly than any other country. We had in a post COVID world, um, 11 million jobs to fill. Um, we are a country of uh, you know, choice as a destination. And one takes those two forces and then one considers the fact that we have an immigration system that is in broken fundamentally um, and we have um, a level of encounter that we do. And when we speak of a broken system, let me just um, capture that as succinctly as I can. The average time between encounter and the point of final adjudication of an asylum claim is seven plus years. Approximately 70% of the people who meet an initial threshold for asylum, the credible fear standard, about 70% qualify. And so they stay for seven plus years. And the ultimate adjudication, about 20%. Qualify. That's quite a disparity, but people in the meantime leave, are, are able to stay, sometimes have children, U.S. citizen children, attend our schools, attend our places of worship, uh, but integrate in the community. Right, okay, I understand, but wh why wouldn't somebody who's coming in illegally always say they're seeking political asylum? Because based on what you just said, they're likely to be here for seven years. Why not just say, I'm not smuggling drugs, I'm just a political asylum seeker? Why doesn't everybody do that? Well, the drug, let's separate drug smuggling from migration. Um, uh, David, um, the fact of the matter is uh, that we have a, an extraordinary number of people claiming asylum and a, f a greatly reduced number of people qualifying for it. The reality is uh, that people uh, do claim asylum when in fact they are fleeing uh, poverty, generalized violence, and that does not an asylum case make but the initial threshold for an asylum case is low and purposely low. Um, and one of the things that the bipartisan legislation would have done is would have raised the, the, raised the, the bar. Right.